All right, hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a review on one of my favorite players. Like I said in the last one, Kukruf was one of mine, but this is Yunus Belhanda. Um, I am using Maestro Chemistry on him, and his attacking and defensive work rates are medium and low, which, I mean, is whatever. It doesn't really seem like that in the game, but whatever. If you guys remember him from FIFA 12 and FIFA 13, he had an insane team of the season card on FIFA 12 when Montpellier won the Ligue 1 title when they beat out PSG for first place. And that was the year that PSG bought in so many players and they just became that rich club that everyone didn't really like. Uh, he did have Olivier Giroud as top scorer and that duo was one of the best in Europe at that time and obviously Belhanda got that sick team of the season card at the end of it. Um, his FIFA 13 card was okay, and then he came back in FIFA 16 after he transferred from Dynamo Kiev uh, from Montpellier, and then after Dynamo Kiev, Schalke got him on loan. As far as Belhanda goes, he's a pretty decent player. I mean, there are so many better attacking midfielders in uh, the Bundesliga for the same price, uh, but he does have his pros. One of the number one pros for him is his passing. I didn't really have any problem at all whether it was short passing or long passing with him. I usually found the player that I wanted to find, which doesn't really happen that often because as far as FIFA goes, it's not the best of games whenever you want to pick a player to pass to or when you ever just want to switch to a player. Uh, his dribbling was also another like awesome thing too. He was very agile, so he got by the player. At the end of it, he he would find a pass or he would take a shot and with taking the shots that is a huge con uh, his long shots are okay his finishing is pretty bad um, I miss countless chances with Belhanda and even though I scored nine goals in ten games with him I felt like I could have done so much better just because of how many chances he's wasted and if you guys do want to use him, I don't know if you should use the same formation that I did. That my, The formation that I used was a 4-2-3-1. I think it'd be better off if he was a center forward and you had two on the wing, right wing and left wing. So he's pretty much a false nine. He'd probably be best in that formation just because of his work rate and um, because of his passing. His shooting does not do him justice at all. It's 73, which is decent, or well, a little bit less than decent, but it feels a lot worse than that. Uh, another huge con for me was even though he was quite agile and getting by the player after you dribble, his balance wasn't there. He got knocked off the ball so many times while I was playing and it was something that I really really noticed through the 10 games just because it was so annoying and it happened pretty much every single game he just get knocked off the ball and there goes the play. Uh, another thing that he does have is the selfish trait uh, that trait, I guess it describes itself. Uh, he wants the shot himself, he wants the vinyl ball, and it showed with his play. After I'd be up top with Javier Hernandez, who was my striker, Bahana would be there to get the rebound or to just, you know, I, he wouldn't call for the ball, obviously, because this is a game. But you can tell that AI would want the ball in his position. Uh, another thing too is his strength. Even though he has 72 physical on his card, it did not feel like Gorkouf at all. Gorkouf, he was 70. He had 76 physical, or I mean, I'm sorry, 76 strength, and it felt way higher than that, probably around 84, 85. But Honda, his strength literally felt less than 50, and I think that has to do with his balance as well, just because he'd get knocked off the ball so many times. Um, but Honda also, I mean. So as far as his, so that's a lot of cons as far as his pros go. Uh, like I said, passing, dribbling, his free kicks were decent. I didn't get one in the net, but I did have a couple on target that hit the keeper or hit the crossbar. Uh, I feel like if I would have just placed them better, they would have gone in, which was my fault. So it's the fault of the user. But for his uh, free kicks, he's pretty good. He's your average free kick taker, probably seventy mid seventy five mid seventies. Um, and all the free kick stats, power, accuracy, shooting, etc. Uh, and with the free kicks, well, set pieces, I guess. His crossing was really good too. Like I said, with the long passing, I usually found the player that I wanted to. Off of, off corners, he was really good. He usually got the ball onto a defender's header to head the ball in, or at least back out. Uh, his 
He has four star skills and four star weak foot, which the weak foot did help a little bit uh, whenever I did take a shot in the box just to have something extra to finish. But the skills I didn't really use just because, like I said, he gets shoved off the ball so easily. And if you do a skill and complete it, that's great. But he's probably. For me, he just got knocked off the ball immediately after I did the skill, so it was kind of useless. Another thing, too, about Balhanda is even though he's this great player in real life, obviously won the League Uno title, uh, did a great job at Dynamo Kiev for the most part whenever he did play because he was a little bit injury prone, and he's even doing pretty well at Schalke. I feel like EA rated him really badly. I would have given him probably an 81, maybe an 82. But I guess because he was in the Ukrainian league, and I don't know if EA pays attention to that league too much, because they only have Shakhtar in the game, uh, that they gave him a 78 based off his past stats. And he was 78 in FIFA 12 before he got an upgrade to that 81-82 uh, card. And then he had two informs after that, and then his team of the season. And then for FIFA 13, he was rated 82. I feel like he should have been the same as his FIFA 13 card. And they did change his work rates too on his FIFA 12 and 13 card. He had a medium attacking work rate and high defensive. And this one is the opposite, medium attacking and then low defensive, which doesn't make very much sense to me as he was a great uh, defender in the midfield uh, whenever he did play in real life and in FIFA 12 and 13. Uh, overall, the card was cool to use. I'm really glad that they put him in because I'm surprised that EA took the time to put uh, players from other leagues that weren't in the game into this on the Bundesliga or, like I said, with Gokuf uh, back in League 1. But I'd give him, honestly, a 6.5 out of 10. He... I don't think I'd give him any higher than that just because his finishing was terrible and you pretty much need that when you are playing that midfield position. Uh, whenever a striker like misses a ball, you want somebody to get the rebound and just put it away. Like I said, he had the 9 goals in 10 games and then 3 assists in the 10 games, which is awesome, but I felt like I could do so much more with him. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and uh, subscribe, and I'll be back with maybe another review or another FIFA-related video. Thanks.